poppin' YouTube family. It's your boy Dwight. Welcome back to the channel. Silverback Siage. Hope all is well with everybody. First off, do me a huge favor. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And punch that bell icon so you can be notified when I post new content. Now today, like I've stated before, the House of Zerjoff has some really, really nice offerings. And after getting my nose on 40 knots and adding that to my collection, I got another one. Keep it locked. down to business now today i'm branching back off into the house of zerge off and i'm going with torino 21 one that i've heard about long before i got it into my collection big time in the fragrance community now this one here came out in 2021 and uh, i'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this part of the box presentation because i've did it before you open it up and it rests in there you got your nice cloth uh almost like suede filling blankets that fit over your fragrance your fragrance fits down in there. But I also covered that in my 40 knots video. This is a 50 ml bottle. Here's your other outer box presentation. Now this one's extra special. Got your Zerge off on the top end of it. Product information and name of the fragrance on the back. But as you can see on this one here, they teamed up with the Nitto ATP Finals, which is a, basically a tennis tournament in Italy. And it celebrates the prestigious partnership between the International Tennis Finals and the city of Turin with the intoxicating notes of Torino 21 is what they say. And that's what you get back there. You get a chance to have nice, wonderful blue and white and like a teal colored box, which I find awesome. Blue and gold, well, a blue with gold accents bottle presentation. But let's give this thing a spray. Because that's what's most important. What does it smell like? Pressurized. Awesome. Itemizer. Mm, I can smell it in the air. Awesome. Scent profile. Now, what you get with this one, name the course, is fresh, citrus, green, aquatic, and spicy. With top notes of mint, lemon, basil, and thyme. Heart notes of rosemary, black currant, jasmine and lavender base notes of my uh information moved on me here base notes of you got some greens in that base notes and some woody dry down basically to make a long story short now what you get with this one up top you get mint and you get that basil those are the fragrance notes mixed in with that lemon, that Reign Supreme. And it's a perfect mix of the three of them. But I will say, even though that opening sounds extra green, which it would be perfect to also put into a spring list or wear during your spring months. But this one here, I see myself wearing it heavy in both seasons, being spring and summer. But this is one that's going to definitely make my summer list as of 2024 this year because it's a very, very long-lasting citrus opening that transitions to the airy aquatic notes and the spiciness that comes into that dry down. One that my wife loves. So I recommend everybody get a sample of this fragrance right here. I can't tell you to go out and blind buy it, but if you are in the line of blind buying, I can personally say that I feel that this fragrance here is blind buy worthy and blind buy safe. I would be looking on either Jama Shop or FragranceBuy.ca because a lot of time this fragrance retail price is over that $300 price point. But if you catch it on one of those two websites, you can get it for around that $145, between $140, $150 price point, which is half of what you would get as far as the uh, retail price. This one here will be in heavy rotation. I'm talking trips, cruises, barbecues, just a hot day out with your significant other just moving around catching the breeze this one here if i had to give it a rating at a scale from one to ten this is a 9.5 almost perfect score with the exception of the little half a point that i might would knock back saying that this just wouldn't be something that i'd be reaching for in the fall in the winter time but i have other fragrances for that so that really doesn't hurt the rating but i don't want to be that guy on this channel gassing everything up and giving perfect tens on everything it has to really be crazy unique and that would be one other small knock about this one. I've smelled other fragrances, not only within the Zerjoff uh, line of fragrances that may have a little bit of a mint, lemon, citrusy combo in that opening, 
which this one doesn't smell like those, but I could see where the concept came from, or maybe even somewhat of a summer DNA that tends to run through their fragrances, but I strongly recommend this one right here. I'm very impressed with my first two offerings that I have in my collection from Zerjoff. If you guys have other fragrances within the house of Zerjoff, or you have these two offerings, offerings from Zerjoff, let me know your opinion on these two, and what are some other ones that you think y'all recommend me to get my nose on, because I've heard a lot about them. They're a very, very luxurious house when it comes to bottle presentation, box presentation, and just performance within their fragrances. So if y'all got some suggestions, let your boy know. But other than that, that's my time. Peace.